And here we go. Good morning, good morning, rise and shine. It is green nurse, Carrie Lee and Sherry time. And we are live from Phoenix, Arizona, which we are going to be doing more frequently in 2022. But before we get started, we're gonna start off with one of the little videos that we love to share. Um, really inspirational, means a lot to me. Actually, sometimes brings a little tear to my eye. Yeah, this is why I'm doing what I'm doing. I'm so passionate about this and so happy that I have nurses and people and providers across the globe that are sharing in this mission and this vision to save the world one puff at a time. <laughs> there we go. Change the paradigm of healthcare. The Green Nurse is a holistic cannabis nurse that teaches on the endocannabinoid system and the safe utilization of cannabis and other progressive tools to help people reach a better quality of life. I'm the founder of Holistic Caring. We're based here in California and we do educational programs and case management for patients on how to use cannabis therapeutically as a medicine. We're also here to decrease stigma around what it means to feel good and be high, hence the H for hope, I for inspiration, G for growth, and H for healing. As the founder of Holistic Caring, I basically over, oversee the, the whole ship. And what we're doing is uh, progressive education. Cannabis actually supports all 11 organ systems, our immune system, and all the neurotransmitter signaling systems that give messages to tell our body to either do something or not do something. Because the plant was prohibited, it prevented health professionals, doctors, and nurses from learning about cannabis as medicine. I want to change the paradigm of healthcare and us paving the way into a new vanguard of medicine. And I'm excited to, to really uh, bring this into light. There's a company called Canum that we're uh, uh, merging with and we will now be doing global education. It's about education, it's about empowerment. It's about teaching people how to feel good bridging the gap from what they're not getting from traditional medicine, utilizing different plant medicines, adaptogens, tips, tricks, hugs, and nugs of information to support and nourish the most important system in our body. And it's a lot of soul work, a lot of love, a lot of discipline, and meditation. I'm using my life work as a testimony to others to learn how they can be their own hero and then go help heal the world. And we are, as nurses, the game changers. Here we go. Growing in health, growing in cannabis. Peace begins with me. Inhale, Love it. Ananda. I know, right? Good morning. Good morning, Kate Nurse Good Carrie morning. from Iowa, the Daily Five to Thrive, Green Nurse Iowa, here with me in the house. We are here on Wednesday. Happy, hempy, hump day, Wednesday. It is December 15th. 15th? 15th. December 15th. December 15th, Wednesday, December 15th, the only December 15th in 2021 we're ever going to have. And before we get the show started, I always like to introduce my awesome co-host because without them, the show wouldn't be as fun. That's for sure. So, so welcome to <laughs> Nurse Carrie Lee. She's Green Nurse Iowa. She's been doing amazing things in the community. She's been in the cannabis space and the psychedelic space for a while now. T truly a game changer. And I'm just going to let her introduce herself and let her know everything that she's doing. So I'm grateful for her to be here. Carrie Aww, Lee, you've got the I'm stage. I'm so grateful girl. to be here with you, <laughs> Sherry, and everybody. Oh my gosh. So my name is Carrie Lee Lure. I am a registered nurse here in the great state of Iowa. I specialize in cannabinoid therapeutics. I connect uh, patients here in Iowa to the program in Iowa. I teach them about the endocannabinoid system, how to choose um, products in a safe way and how to use those products in a safe and effective way so that they can achieve their goals. Nice. Um, I'm also director of nursing for Keta MD. Uh, we provide at, at home oral ketamine treatment. And lastly, but certainly not least, I am a green nurse. I am a nursing supervisor and mentor 
um, for uh, holistic caring and extremely proud of all of the above. So thanks for having yes. me, girly. Oh my God, so good. So yeah, so you had just mentioned too, some of the things that you do as a nurse in the cannabis space is you educate and teach people how to use products effectively as medicine. So as cannabis nurses, what do we do? We find out what patients want and need and we bring it to them. What do we do? Yes. We teach the safe utilization of cannabinoids and other progressive tools that match to go with the specific product. So what I put in the comments right now is our green nurse approved CBD marketplace where we've been vetting products for patients now at the beginning of the year. Actually, we've been doing it in the background, Carrie Lee, you, me. For a Denise, long Michelle. time. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, so now we decided true. to put a label to it, like to really bring it to life and to really educate everyone about why it's so important to choose a product, a high quality product, not a gas station CBD. You know, we really, we, it's expensive, number one. Number two, the sooner safety. that you, safety, 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 putting things in your body. So yeah. yeah. Other thing I want to make a cool announcement on is medical cards. So Carrie Lee, this is something new and I'm going to put it up in the chat box for people to explore. You need to do a little bit, uh, do another show on this, but now Holistic Caring and the Green Nurses, we are offering medical cards nationally. So I just put, oh yeah, online Sweet. telehealth national. So Iowa and Massachusetts is being done just a little bit differently. However, other states, we have an amazing, amazing, easy peasy way for you to obtain your medical cannabis certification in the state that you live in. You just have to click the dot. You click on the little, little link there. We're gonna, I'm going to do a, a little, I'm going to do a little commercial on it. In, in the next couple of days, just so people can can be aware about it. So yeah, so we're stigma fighters. Carrie Lee helps get helps people get medical cards in Iowa. She teaches and educates on the endocannabinoid system, the safe utilization of plant medicines, and how to choose products, high quality products. What are we looking for in products, Carrie Lee? Purity, potency, cannabinoid profile, terpene profile. We want to look and make sure there's no contaminants. Is it USDA organic? Is it being grown in organic conditions? Is it made from flowering strains of hemp? Or you know, what is the, what is the type of cannabis? Where is it grown? How is it grown? Is there testing before, during, and after? We're looking at all those things. We're looking at all those things because you know why? Number one, we're patients too. Number yeah. two, we're the most trusted profession for over 19 years in a row. And number three, we care and love about you and we want this plant to work for you period. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. So gosh, we're like rolling right into it. So happy humpy hump day. You know, one of the, the five to thrive, Carrie Lee and even Denise, you know, prayer, positivity, affirmations, you know, rephrasing how we think, right? Really, really, really important for us to pause and to really frame, reframe how we are showing up in the world personally and professionally. Because, you know, right now we aren't in a, in a time where people are struggling and suffering. And um, so we're here to bring you a little bit of that high vibe, you know, that hope, that inspiration for growth and healing, because we all deserve to feel good. I don't know how I'm going to say this until the day I die. I'm going to look at you all right in the eyeballs and let you know there's no one more important than you. And you deserve to feel good. So we're going to hop right into that. And we're going to we have a fun subject to talk about Santa Claus later. How fun is that? Pagans, how pagans use cannabis at Christmas time. We're going to get into some of that fun stuff because it, it is true. We need to pull out, right? When, when you go on a trip, where do you go? You go out and come back in. You go out to relax, to nourish, to take care of yourself. And then you come back in to live your life. So these are little hugs and nugs that we're bringing to you. And Carrie Lee's got a deck that we're pulling from today. What do you yeah. got, Carrie Lee? I got the it magic is, deck. It uh, is Colette Baron reads um, The Spirit Animal Oracle. And so Ooh. I've already shuffled it and split this into three piles. You want to pick a number one through three? Oh, yeah, three. I'm feeling the power of three. And today is Hawk Spirit. Let, let's see how pretty. Oh, oh my God. Look let, at that. Let spirit be your guide. Let spirit be your guide. And the number is number 32, which equals a five. Five is an extremely spiritual number, correct? Angelic number. Yeah, transformational transformation yeah. yeah five 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 get your jive 
Remember that. <laughs> oh, I'm fumbling. <laughs> here. I'm fumbling. Here we go. Here we go. Got to get the old readers on. So today's protection message. Are you noticing red flags? Perhaps saying to yourself, oh, what pretty flags and giving them no more thought? Hawk Spirit has arrived to tell you to stop and listen to the messages from Spirit. Take the time to observe the patterns you are seeing. Do not dismiss your intuition, even if the messages you receive are not supported by evidence in the physical world. If it feels illogical to listen right now, listen anyway. Sometimes you might want certain signs and messages to mean what you want them to mean, interpreting through the lens of wishful thinking, a projection of your desire to see things a certain way. Of course, when you do that, you rarely find yourself where you want to be. Take heart. Spirit loves you so much and does not want you to get hurt, but to align with Spirit's plan for your highest good. Listen and follow the signs and check your motives when you are being selective with your hearing. Wow, that's a good one. Wait, just repeat that one more time. Be selective when it says it says listen and follow the signs and check your motives when you are being selective with your hearing with your hearing with what you listen to oh and this goes right back to what words words yeah so how do we talk to ourselves how do we talk to others what do we give meaning the language being impeccable with your word yeah you know, it was really really interesting definitions of words perception of words and the meaning that we give to them there's urban dictionary of words so yeah that's really really important list stop and listen to the messages from spirit right when we stop you know it just reminds me of the nurse neek please stop right yes right and so please stop is p is for pause l is for listen e is for exhale right peace begins with me Exhale, right? A is accept. And guess what? If you can't accept what is, accept the fact that you can't accept it. It just kind of takes you to the next level. Pause, listen, exhale, accept. P L E A S, silence. So when in your silence, you can slow down and you can listen to spirit. And then E is empower, right? Just think if you can get P L E A S, wow, how empowered are you that you've been able to stop, drop? listen right see feel deal heal see sail soar just like the animal hawk spirit i love that that's really yeah. good stuff you know it's crazy too i know you and i have been talking about eagles a lot lately and oh, yeah. spirit animal and eagles and i drove my son to school today they had a one hour uh, late start because of heavy fog and what did we see literally soar right over us as we crossed the bridge into town this beautiful eagle just oh. the most massive wingspan and you know ah oh, cruising to, right what see like rise above all the chaos of the world and look at the bigger picture which is love 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 over oh there. it's it love is my love. religion awesome right yeah there's nothing but love here of peace and harmony it's all right get your love on y'all it's, it's it's good get your Keep love things. on y'all absolutely <laughs> heck yeah <laughs> good stuff so here we go holidays a lot of people you know in the holidays are not digging them you know i'm going to just say it's not that i'm not a fan i'm just i don't it, i don't have a strong feeling either way about it and it's just because of how i've evolved and, and just my thought processes and how I'm showing up in the world, I, I like to think every day is a holiday <laughs> and every day is an opportunity to love. You know, that's truly how I'm, I'm you know, li living with one foot in a grave and another foot in a banana peel. You really start to look at and knowing and being very aware of that, you start to look at the world a little bit differently. Yeah. And my son really taught me how to do that, how to believe in magic, right? How to believe in the miracles. And a miracle is truly what? It's a change of perception, right? And so here we are, happy, hempy, hump day, rise and shine. You know, we're gonna talk about some stuff that's fun. You know, we have the winter solstice that is coming up on December 21st. It's the shortest day of the year. And it signifies what? The, the light is returning. The light. Woo! Let there be light. Let there oh, be light. Let there be light. Come back mm -hmm. to me in light. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And so you think about to the return of the light and let's, we can make an analogy 
to the sun, how the sun is so nourishing, not only to us, helps us to produce vitamin D, how the sun is so nourishing to the plants, right? And, and the growth of plants. You think about the cannabis plant. Where does the sunflowers, where do they grow to? They grow to the light. They're like, yes. they're meant and wired to go to the light. So really, really a cool time for us just to think about how we want to return in the light as the light starts to get brighter and brighter and brighter. So the winter time, the winter solstice is truly a time about going in, about being quiet, about being in that place of silence and about supporting our rich internal world, going into the castle. We have the ability to create our own space, our own castle, our internal world that we can bring up and out and share with the world. And so the winter solstice does represent that, the return of the light. And so Yule, is the German tool, your German tool, the German term for um, for solstice, for winter solstice. And so think about cannabis, right? And all the different things that, you know, cannabis has played a role in history around the winter solstice. So plants in general play a huge role, Carrie Lee, um, central role around Christmas, right? So what are some of the plants the, that we have? The lush greenery, the evergreens, yeah. the holly, mistletoe um all the smells okay. that come from like cinnamon and cloves um, yeah. gingerbread um, potpourri and ooh, cannabis you can't forget about cannabis yeah was in there cannabis. as well <laughs> yeah so i love too back in the history how this is really kind of cool the magic incense you know mm. so think about this christians a long time ago they smudged their homes and stables with this with a number of nine herbs, right? And th these herbs were combined. They did juniper, evergreen resins, milk thistle, mugwort, and cannabis. So they mixed all of these different things together. And this was documented in the Christian Rasha book of Pagan Christmas. And so nice. they use this in, in saging, you know, it's about bringing the good energy and the spirits through aromatherapy, yes. through ritual, right? Through yes. connection, right? The magic incense of bringing in you know, that hope, that happiness, those miracles, the magic. I bet yeah. it smells wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, Miss Tasha here, the lovely Tasha Jackson of Holistic Caring, we did a little sacred ceremony last night using a variety of plants, but she also mixed up in this beautiful dish, sage plus other herbs. And we went around and we saged Ooh. ourselves. We had music going, saged ourselves, saged the house. And really just stepped Love into it. another... Yeah, yeah, really good, really good. And and we actually utilized cannabis. We you know inhaled cannabis. And you just think about this. Let's talk about Christmas. Who do we see smoking a pipe? Oh, <laughs> in a big oh, red suit. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love right? it. This is so fun. Yeah, I know. So just think about where where Santa gets his magic. Jolly and his imagination. pipe smoking Santa. You know, jolly pipe smoking Santa. Yeah. And then even, even going in richer, you know, how we, you know, we talk about the daily five to thrive and nutrition is a huge piece of it. The, the uh, three P's of energized living protection, food is a part of it. And so at Christmas time in the olden days, they used to use hemp seed soup, right? So Yum. Lithuania, Poland, um, hemp seed was offered to actually in the olden days to deceased family members who came back to visit over the holidays. So they had this ritual where they would make the soup and they'd bring it out and they would have, you know, they call in the spirit of Christmas, the spirit of their loved ones. And, they, you know, they would provide energetic meals for their Aww. deceased loved ones I to come back lovely. and celebrate. I know, right? A lovely way to celebrate your, your, your ancestors and your loved ones that have passed. I, it's beautiful. I think so too. And, yeah. and in the olden days too, cannabis was linked to ritual, rituals around death, dying, and funerals. And you've heard, you know, me, you've heard myself and um, Nurse Jamie and Nurse Kathleen talk about hospice and yeah. how cannabinoids are really, really, really beneficial for end-of-life care, for decreasing symptoms, for mitigating side effects, and for legacy work, right? Legacy work where we connect with people and we help them to move into the next phase of our journey, which is the yeah. unseen world. <laughs> yeah. What a great way to, you know, to, to start to learn about the unseen world, about death and dying, about practices through the use of cannabis, because it does open up, you know, these, these different neural pathways. So you can look at things from a different perspective and be like, hmm, oh, wow, that's interesting. That's cool. Instead of being closed off 
cannabis yeah. brings down that veil to your eyes. It's like it brings down the veil, but opens up consciousness for you to look at things from a different way. Opens so you up so that you can connect. You can connect yes. a little bit easier and more fully, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So here we go. So we're going to talk a little bit about shaman claws. Santa Claus, the shaman, right? And so we're going to talk a little bit about magic mushrooms because we are also psychedelic nurses. We've had experiences and we are, you know, working um, to create programs and pathways and retreats for people. Um, good morning, Dwayne. So we're getting hey, into shaman Santa and the psychedelic space of how some myth and some legends and some information has come forth. And we're going to share with you. We sh I shared this last year. It's kind of fun. So it think about mushrooms the color they're red and white okay we're going to pair mushrooms to santa right the red and white the amani muscara mushroom was known as the fly agaric and it was seen in books and fairy tales associated with magic because they contain potent hallucinogenic compounds used for incense and transcendental experiences transcending the human form you know getting into these these spaces so if you think about modern day christmas we have santa claus Christmas trees, magical reindeer, the giving of gifts, right? And it was originally based upon the tradition surrounding the harvest and consumption of the most sacred mushrooms, right? So we got this little timeline here, Carrie Lee. You want to go through it with me? Let's see. Where we where where, where is our timeline at here? Okay, uh, it's okay. So if shaman we, claws. <laughs> yeah, we went to shaman claws, and we go down to hallucinogenic holiday history. There you go. Right? Siberians. Cool. Siberians were reindeer herders. Yeah. Santa Claus and lived there. Santa Claus lived there, you know, the, the North Pole. There we go. In the site on Siberia, where the where their Siberians, the people were the herders. So here's the thing: the reindeer would go out and eat the red and white hallucinogenic mushrooms, the Amana muscara mushrooms that grow only under a certain type of evergreen tree. Right. And so basically what people would do the siberians would do was to reduce the toxicity of the mushrooms they would pick them they would place them on the branches of the trees as ornaments and they would let them dry out okay i love this this is kind of fun shaman fun. santa <laughs> shaman shanta just imagine shaman shanta would go with a big large sack and collect all of these cured mushrooms from the tree right that he was they were using as ornaments and would distribute them to friends and family shaman santa and then what happened is when once they were delivered they were further dried by hanging them in the stockings near the fire and so you know the myth says that in sleep the shaman spirit would fly around the world in the spirit realms thanks to the red nose reindeer basically the snout buried in mushrooms <laughs> the mushroom I love tripping that. reindeer oh my gosh. right <laughs> yeah That's it's great. just a really kind of cool myth to go along with santa claus magic mushrooms hallucinogenics well, storytelling it, it would certainly explain why you know the reindeers felt that they could fly in the air or why maybe santa felt like he was you know flying through the air you know on, on, under the influence of the magic mushrooms and it's it's yeah. just so fun it's fun it is fun on the so look at history it is know. and sh shaman santa so that so you figure shaman santa's flying around with the reindeer he would return from his flight through yurts in the chimney smoke oil with gifts for the community. So just think of Santa Aww. going out, picking the mushrooms off the tree, helping them dry. The reindeers are eating them. Everyone's flying high. <laughs> and we have, wow. what do we have? We have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> you know, Santa is on this amazing, amazing journey, um, psychedelic journey. And he is, what is he doing? He's literally spreading love and joy all yeah. over the world loved and joy yeah and so that's Beautiful. that's yeah and so i want you all to have an opportunity to spread love and joy to the world and basically where does it start it starts with self you know it starts with self let the wisdom and the magic of the winter solstice the wisdom and the magic of the myths of santa claus and the magic mushrooms let the magic of plant wisdom cannabinoids come into your life you know and being open and receptive just to see if it could make a difference in your life. We've seen it, you know, not only are we medical cannabis patients that have overcome many chronic debilitating illnesses and have decreased our use of pharmaceuticals, but you know, we are showing up, telling our stories, telling our journey, letting you all know 
that we are human. You know, we, we may show up here all smiley face, but we, we, we are human. We're extremely human and we have living lives and we're working through the same issues that you're all working through. Right? Yep. And we're yeah. using the daily five to thrive, the three P's of energized living. And I got to plug my girl, Elizabeth. Yeah. Elizabeth. Elizabeth. Love, you. Love you, Miss Elizabeth. So Elizabeth wrote this book called Cannabis for Health, Become a Coach. Right. And so here we are in the community. We have a free community off of social media created by Elizabeth Mack, Holistic Caring Network. You can join the community by going to our website. We have a free introductory to cannabis course, free patient portal and support group, free monthly webinar and a book club, free book club. And you don't need to own the book. And people be like, no, I don't know. I don't want to become a coach. Guess what you do? You want to become your own coach because why? There's no one more important than you and no one knows your body more than you. We just have to take that time to slow down, to pause, to silence, to listen, to ask it what it needs, right? We only have one meat suit. <laughs> so Carrie Lee, this has been great, huh? Good show. I, I thoroughly enjoy doing this with you and I love spreading the message of the plant. Thank you, plant medicine. Yeah. It's It changes so many lives. Our lives, we watch it change um, the lives of, of others that we teach about it. And it's truly an honor and a blessing to be in this position yeah. in this time. Yeah. So yeah. I'm getting so, so beclamped. Oh. I know it's all good though. It's because it's the, the, it's the, it's the spirit, you know, we're touched, we're moved. Our tears are about, wow, thank God I found this plant. Wow. Yeah. What a miracle. How my life has changed in ways that I've never, ever thought or dreamed. Yeah. And so then as nurses, us being able to bring that information to others and to see the transformation that we it's see amazing. in other people's lives, it's beautiful. Oh. It's beautiful. <sighs> Your magic. Your magic. And so what we're doing now, we just want to do one final announcement, is um, I'm taking some time off. So I'm going to take the next week off. I'm here in Mesa, Arizona with the lovely Tasha Jackson. She's the vice president of programs at Holistic Caring. And I'm meeting up with the awesome Elizabeth Mack tomorrow for the next five days. And we're going to be doing some power, 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 vision, downloads, whiteboarding, planning all next year or so and to figure out how we can bring you all more, more education, more love, more cannabinoids, more tools, you know, and, and that's what we're here to do. So we love you all very much. You're going to see me next week. We're going to do Christmas Eve and Christmas Day remember what it's all about. And I'm also going to put up some other shows from, you know, from the past, from last year. I had a nice long talk with Nurse Mark. We're going to put up a couple of his shows. So remember everyone what it's all about. It is about living your best life and helping others do the same. We love you.